All right, hello, YouTube. Uh, Ryan, or Nunman, here, with a new LP. Um, this is SteamWorld Dig, A Fistful of Dirt. Um, came out originally on the 3DS. I played it there. Came out on Steam. I think I got it in a Humble Bundle. Uh, so I got it through that. Um, and I'm pretty sure they just revealed SteamWorld Dig 2, um, or announced SteamWorld Dig 2 um, in development for the Switch. So I figured, why not do the first game now? Um, I did try, as you can see by slot A here, I did try to record this game a while back. Um, I don't remember why I didn't do it, or I didn't finish it at the time, but I didn't. Um, so we're going to pick slot C, and we're going to start a new game. Here's our hero, our main character. Welcome to Tumbleton. We're nuts for gold. Um, but the ground is cracking beneath us, and we fall into the tutorial area, if I remember correctly. I was a little quick to the draw there, but yeah. I'm not gonna... I don't need to read these. Um, cool. So I've got to explore this... Hey, who's that? You're a person. Dorothy? Yeah, I didn't mean to fall in. I'm sorry. You've been breaking into my uncle's mine? I should see for myself? Oh, he, he must be dead. Uh, so yeah. Um, this is a game. Uh, I had fun with it when I played it on 3DS. I figured I'd do a nice little chill run through here. Uh, like I do with Sonic Adventure 2, or like I am doing with Sonic Adventure 2. Uh, if all goes to plan, they'll be uploading at the same time. Um, but yeah, we... Oh, I forgot to jump. Oh, I can grab that. Health. Um, health is in the top right corner, or top left corner. We have light in the top right corner. Um, which is like that light around, the sphere of light around me, so I can like see um, well, there's these torches. And right here, we've got my dead uncle. Who, this is all weird, because he's a skeleton right there, I think. Um, and I'm like a robot-y thing, who tosses his pickaxe from hand to hand when he turns. Um, and he's like a skeleton, but like, I, no, he's, maybe he's a metal skeleton. I don't know. I don't exactly know what, what I am. Am I a robot? Am I not a robot? So you can dig with X. I have since I have that equipped now, and I have it's the only thing I have. So, uh, what do you want? Okay, I will do that. Please, just like go down, dig down, dig deep. Um, I'll grab this fire while I'm here. Um, this whole part of the mine doesn't really matter if, if I'm remembering correctly. Um, because it's- oh, that's rock. Because it's just here for, uh, this bit. Um, and you can wall jump, so, like, getting back up is usually not an issue when you need to get back up places. So even if I didn't, uh, even if this wasn't, um, as unimportant of an area, I'd be fine digging straight down like this. Yeah. Alright, here's the lever on the way out. How did that fall through? It must have already been here? And that's teaching me how to wall jump now. Um, but yeah, as we go on, there's more like loot to plunder and stuff right now. It's just teaching us how the game works. So this is the real part of the map of the mine. Um, but we're going to go up right now because this is Tumbleton. Uh, it's not many people here. And our objective right now is just talk to Dot or Dorothy. I don't know why I said Dot. I don't know if we ever call her Dot. Um, so Dorothy lets me sell my plunder to her, which is my new new objective. But let's talk to everybody in the town. Cranky over here um, <laughs> can upgrade my stuff if I have resources and money. Um, if you go all the way over here, there's nothing right now, but I think more stuff comes this way eventually. Um, 
same on the other side. There was one woman over on the other side. Right here. Hi, Lola. You're just gonna compliment me, I guess. Alright, bye, Lola. Yeah, and then over here. It's a sign. Uh, we just keep a dead corpse right here, you know. Just for, just for shits and giggles. Yeah, now we go down into the mine. Um, I can see some ore right away. <laughs> uh, Trashium. Some of the ore names are kind of funny, but that was Trashium. Trashium's not worth a lot. As you can see, I have a limited in inventory down there. Um, also, that bug dude is an enemy. And he's gonna break when he pops out. Is he gonna pop out? No, I killed him. Yeah. Um, he breaks the stuff around him sometimes when he pops out, when those ones pop out. Um, so basically the whole goal right now um, is to just keep digging down in the mine and see if we can get anything worth it. Um, which I'm gonna fill up on Trashium pretty. I, I'm, fill, I'm full up with one slot on Trashium already. Um, but I'm just gonna keep getting it, it seems. But, you know... Whatevs. I'm trying to be, like, somewhat smart about my digging. Oh, he's not going. I can't jump and attack. So I'm gonna break this and then I have to fight him like that. Um, but yeah, these are the generic general enemies that you'll find. Ow! It hit me. Um, these are the generic general enemies you'll find in the mine. Um, they're not too big of a deal. Um, I'm talking like I'm an expert at this game. Um, I haven't played this game in years. Since I recorded that uh, attempt at LP, that didn't work out. Now it's telling me to sell my loot because I'm pretty full. But I'm going to keep working at it. Honestly, digging straight down in some cases is, in this game is kind of uh, preferred. Just so you can, that, that, it's a very easy way to get out of, get back out of the mine if you have to. Um, and there's a nice little map on the side over there. Um, so that's nice. Oh, now I've hit something I can't mine with my current pickaxe, um, this rock here, but I can mine it eventually. Just not right this second. Yeah. And I'm pretty sure my light rejuvenates when I get to the top when I go back upstairs. Oh god. I don't want him to open up yet. Okay, now you can open up. No, wait, not yet, not yet, not yet. Okay, now you can. I didn't need to break that bit. I just broke. Um, see if I can find anything else, even just more Trashium. Because I've got two more slots for Trashium. If I find anything but Trashium, I'm going to be a little disappointed. Because I'll be out of slots, but it doesn't look like I'm finding anything but Trashium. And now I'm almost full and I can't go any further down. So up I come. Let me sell you this crap. Yep. So I got a level, I think. Yeah! I got a sharp pickaxe uh, upgrade available that I can probably buy with my $11. Yeah, with eight, it's the first level up, you can immediately buy it. And that's mine. Um, there's also orbs, as you can see, which are like another currency. Um, that'll come into play in a bit. Uh, do you have another thing for me? Found a cave. So I should find that cave, is basically what I'm being told. Um, but yeah, there's caves. Uh, they usually have like upgrades and stuff in them. So that's cool. And as you can see, I can now dig into this. It's good. And I got some citrine. Citrine. I don't know what that is exactly. But... And some more trash in. I'm gonna dig this way a bit to see what I can get. Alright. Dig down here. 
Get some more trashium. Probably even more trashium right here. Yeah. Yeah, all the trashium. Those enemies can get a no- oh, what is that? Can I drop a thing? Um, how do I drop a thing? I don't want- I'm not, I want this! I don't want the trashium! Oh, there we go. Discard. Cool. Oh, it's only another extra dollar, but... Better than more trashium. I'm saying trashium a lot. Uh, let me go sell all this. That's what this game... In a, in a lot of ways. It's just go down, mine a bunch, come back up, sell as much as you can, um, then go back down and keep mining, and then come back up and sell, and all that kind of stuff. Um, hmm. I want to buy... I can't buy a copper pickaxe just yet. I want to buy ladders, because they're always useful to have. Um, I'm going to fill up on them. Um, I don't remember the button that I use to place ladders. Change tool is RB. Um, use tool is Y. Okay, cool. Um, they're good if the ladders are great to have because if you mine yourself in a way that you can't wall jump out of, uh, they're a good way up. Uh, and you, you may have noticed that I have a self-destruct option. Um, that's if you if I get myself mined in in such a way that I cannot get out of, um, I can self-destruct and I'll lose all my stuff. I might be able to pick it up uh, after, but I basically lose all my stuff, but I live. Um, so I don't want to break that. I don't know if you can like tell that I'm trying to do this somewhat methodically. Um, Oh, that's not what I want. And I think I want to say the damaged ground that I have and I'm like leaving will um, rejuvenate when I'm when I leave, when I go back to the surface. But I'm not sure. So don't quote me on that. But it is possible. So the cave is our objective on that mini map now. Um, and actually, I think I can see it from here. I think that's it. Yeah, that's it right there. Um, I don't think I want to do what I'm about to do. But I'm going to do it anyway. Oh, this isn't bad. This would be a lot worse. Okay. So I'm right over to the cave already. Uh, before I go in there, I am going to go up and empty. Um, and I haven't cleared out... Uh, ooh. Ooh, this better not be cool. Um, I'm gonna go up and empty. And uh, if you notice, I've only cleared out this left side, really, um, getting down to the cave. I might clear out that right side before I uh, go right into it. Um, but yeah. I haven't had to use my ladders yet, um, which is nice. It's nice to not have to do that. But I got a medium pouch and a lamp now. Um, the lamp can, if I remember correctly, let's look. Um, medium pouch is one inventory slot and the lamp. Oh, they just, uh, they're like torches. Um, I don't remember using them ever in my other playthrough of this game. Um, so I'm not really worried about by using it now. So I'm not going to buy one. I'm gonna save my money for this medium pouch and or the copper pickaxe. Um, probably the medium pouch first, because my I'm not like uh, I don't I don't have any uh, problems uh, digging yet. Um, go this way. I think I'm gonna start tunneling over here now. Get this probably trashium. Oh, copper! Copper is good. I like copper. Let's go this way a little bit. And as we start in the mine, you see there's already, like, placed, uh, lamps around. So, that's nice. 
I've already kind of made my way over here to uh, where uh, the cave entrance is. So that works. That's cool. Um, I don't know. Do I want to dig this way at all? Is there something maybe right over there? I can't really tell. I, if I am going to dig this way, I'm going to dig this way, though. Because that rock that's in the ground there, it will fall if I dig underneath it. So I just want to make sure that there's a way... There's a way for me to do this that works, you know? Oh, shoot! You see? see? That's what it does. Uh, if I was under there, I would have probably died. Um, thankfully, I wasn't under there. Um, luckily, I wasn't under there. I mean, this isn't a rock. This is just a platform that's dug in here. I don't need to be digging across like I am now, but I'm looking to see what was there. Um, I may as well. I can dig right in here. Cool. Let's enter the cave. That's nice. See, they fall. It's basically, I think that was basically teaching me that. And if I yep, step on the dirt like that, it falls out. Um, but I can just do that. Um... So this, uh, there's a three three gears here, a uh, health, fire, and water, which is a thing we'll get later. Um, that hurts if we were to touch down there. I think we want to go this way that I am going. Oop. Because eventually, well, right here, there's a thing. Some cit citrine, that stuff. Um, is there anything else? I guess I'm gonna dig down here and see where this leads me. Oop, ah! I cannot get through this yet. I need an upgrade that I don't have. But is there anything over here? Nope. Okay. Maybe I need an upgrade before I can do this place? Um, unless, what's down here? This might be the upgrade. Oh, uh, this is probably the upgrade. I got speed boots, so now I can run. See? Look at me run. Oh, there's a thing right there. I'm gonna fall just to get it. Oh, I can't get it. Wait, yes I can. Can I? No, I can't place the ladder. I was gonna be like, I can get it from a ladder, but no. Um, if I do this, though... Can I hit this? Ah. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna be able to hit this. Yeah! There we go. Now I can get whatever this is. Just more citrine. Citrine. Whatever. Um, so I need, now I need to return to town. But I th think I can get something else here. Um, if it's ore, I'm going to have to not... Oh, run jump. Because run jump gives a little more... Uh, it would help if I could actually do this correctly. It's a weird, it's a weird setup on a... Uh, or the way I have it set up on an Xbox controller, anyway. Um, but it's what works best for me. All right, here we go. This is what I want. Because there's orbs. Uh, I got three of them right there. Um, so that's nice. But yeah, that's everything in this cave. Or in this part of the... In Cave 1, I guess it's called. Um, or something along those lines. Um, so that's that. Um, well, something else I should know... Um, this mine stays the way you have it generated in, uh, a playthrough, um, but it's different every playthrough. Um, so it would not look like, it probably if you're playing this game along, it, your mine probably does not look like mine mine does. Um, but that's cool. I like that. It's like somewhat procedurally generated, but not like completely procedurally generated. I found one of his caves, blah, blah, blah. All right. I could use some health. Uh, no, I could be 100% health for no money, so I don't think I need to do that. Um, but I'm going to buy the medium pouch. And I'm going to buy the copper pickaxe. Um, now, the big pouch is a thing, and the bronze pickaxe is a thing. Um, and I'll get those eventually. But for now, a copper and a medium pouch are good. 
I'm probably going to go for the big pouch next, though, as opposed to the bronze pickaxe. Yeah. Now back to the cave. <laughs> 